Hey, what's up, Briefers? So as you can see in front of me, um, I have a stack of dry rocks. So basically, I ordered these rocks last week, and it came in on Monday. And I've just been playing with different formations. Um, so these rocks came from uh, reef cleaners in Florida. I went online and I searched different forums and just trying to get an idea of like what's the best place to order rocks to build the reef out of. And this Florida-based company, Reef Cleaners, came really highly recommended. Um, Macro Rocks also came pretty highly recommended, but it seems like more people have really satisfied customer service and just like quality of products from Reef Cleaners. So I went with Reef Cleaners, and sure enough, I was blown away by the quality. Uh, so a little bit about uh, pricing and what you get. Right here, I have uh, 50 pounds of uh, 50 pounds of reef cleaner rocks and it's uh, it's about 90 bucks delivered uh, right here It's only probably half of it. Let me show you the rest Yes, it's a lot of rocks so we got over there and over here and this is a ro the, the box that came with uh, As you can see during transportation uh, not many things broke off, but there are a lot of dust which is fine completely okay and uh, while you're doing the order um, you have to you have the ability to tell them that what kind of build you're trying to do and what kind of rock you're looking for and they'll try the best to kind of pick the rocks that you want. And I told them that I'm not really looking for shelves. I'm looking for more like um, elongated pieces of uh, interesting shaped rocks. And I'm sure uh, I'm sure a lot of people ask them for this. It's like, hey, I want interesting shaped rocks. But somehow they delivered. I mean, I, I got some great rocks here. Uh, granted, I still got one or two pieces of shelf, but I mean, it's it's fine. You know, most of them is exactly what I'm looking for. For example, here's a slip, a slab. Right here, and here's actually a really nice looking shelf. I was really tempted to integrate this, but at the moment, I just don't really find the perfect spot for it, so I'm just gonna wait. But all these other pieces, as you can see, the quality is high, really, really porous. And the reason I'm not using deep, these pieces is because my my tank is 45 gallons, so I have limited space. These are more rounded shaped ones, almost like boulders, uh, while these other ones seems to have a little bit more personality, a little bit more um, you know elongated or like you know have interesting shape. So I spent a couple of days just kind of play with it. In the past, I would just immediately dump all the rocks into the tank and just do it on the fly. And they tend to just stay wherever they, they drop off. And that's terrible. But then again, in the past, I tend to use live rocks. This time, I'm trying to use everything like um, everything dry. So I can do a dry run first. And I'm going to take my time and set it up until I like it. And then I'll plop the whole thing in there. Uh, so for this setup, because it's going to view from the front and its left side, or our right side, we sit on a couch, I have to make sure from the front it looks all right. And from the side, it'll still look kind of interesting. So that has been a challenge. Um, I did one build before, it looks great in the front, but on the side, just flat. So that didn't quite work out. This one seems to have some potential. And initially, uh, before I ordered the rocks, or before I got the rocks, I was thinking about ordering some acrylic rods and just drilling holes in the live rock and uh, kind of like skewer them together so they'll be super secure. However, after I see the rocks, these are so porous and there's so many edges that they just lock together so well. I think at most I'll probably just do some like epoxy at the joints between these big rocks just to make sure there's no avalanche and we should be all right. And I don't want to really stuff the tank with too, too much rock in the beginning. Because I'm sure like as I buy things, uh, some of the corals may come with little pieces of rocks. I may not be able to take the coral off. So I'll leave some open room to kind of for integration. And my goal really is um, I try to build a column. I love columns. Build a column with some overhang and some edges, you know, for um, SPS or LPS. And a ZOA in a shaded area, maybe. And then I also want some arch. So we got one big one here and then a little one here. And there, I believe there's another one right here. I'm really glad that they sent me small pieces of rock like this. That's not like a slap. 
Um, it still looks like rocks, so it integrate really well. It looks pretty natural, at least to me. And I'm really glad that all these rocks that came, they all seem to be from the same area. I mean, the place to mine these or to dig these up is actually uh, um, old reef, old reef actually. These are all like reef rocks, but they're, they're inland now, so they're all dead. And what, what the reef cleaners do is that they'll dig up these rocks and then they'll clean it professionally um, and to make sure there's nothing left on there. All, they, all we got is like transportation dust. That's why it's like kind of dusty in my head. And so these, uh, these are completely clean, but they do resemble reef structures, which is great. So I got a couple pieces like this. I'm gonna, uh, right now I just stack them together to kind of tweak it, see how they'll lock together and then if I like the look. And right now I, I'm kind of happy about it. We got a big column here, a couple arches here, and kind of gradually slope to the front. Across the side, we have something, a small, tiny island to kind of balance things out a little bit. So yeah, this is where I'm at, I'm at right now. And I'll, I'm gonna let this sit for a couple days, see how I feel about it. If I feel good about it, then these guys are going to the tank. And once the uh, rocks are in, epoxied in place, I'm gonna add some sand and we're good to go. We're gonna add salt and then we're gonna start cycling the tank. Oh yeah, by the way, the, the light came back, it's great. I also set up the refugium and popped the refugium light on and everything seems to be running great. And I'm gonna do an update video later on. And Mac, please don't knock those rock over. Well, until then, see you guys later.